In September 2016, um, myself, my wife, and our 11-month-old son, Grant, all had colds. And mine and Jessica's both got better within a week or so, and, and Grant's just didn't seem to ever get any better, and, and actually, as time went on, seemed to actually be getting a lot worse. We started noticing his lymph nodes were swollen in his neck, and so we took him back to the doctor after waking up with his right eye completely swollen, and she sent us for some lab work. I took him to where I work at Palm Bay Hospital, where I'm a nurse, and I just had one of the doctors evaluate him, and he told me he thought he needed to be checked in and get labs and further testing. And after labs, chest x-ray, and ultrasound, when they tried to admit him to our pediatric floor, they were told that he needed to be evaluated for cancer, and we don't have oncology, so they transferred us to Florida Hospital for children in the middle of the night. After being there for just less than a day, uh, we had a diagnosis um, of leukemia, but we didn't know the kind because we need to get a bone marrow biopsy. We continued chemo for 56 days and we were able to continue the bone marrow biopsies and lumbar punctures inpatient with the chemo until we were discharged on Christmas Eve. Two weeks before we started with these colds, um, we actually found out that Jessica was pregnant again. Um, and when Jessica was 36 weeks pregnant, uh, we found out that Grant had relapsed again and we knew that the cord blood was a, an option um, if the baby was a match to do his stem cell transplant. Because of the cholestasis, she was induced at 37 weeks, um, which was great news for us that we weren't gonna have to wait around um, to, to get this cord blood sent off. We sent the cord blood off on uh, May 16th while it was born, and they told us it could be four to six weeks before we had any results as far as whether or not why it was a match for Grant. For as excited as everybody was about the cord blood, we found out that the chance of why it being a match for Grant was actually only one in four. So it was still kind of a, a long shot, but it was at least a chance for it. About four weeks later, uh, we got the call uh, from Dr. Kelly to let us know that the results had come in and that uh, why it was a perfect match for Grant. The transplant process for him went very smoothly and we were told um, after his bone marrow biopsy in August that he is in remission and he's 98% um, Wyatt cells, which is great news for us. My hopes for Grant, uh, number one, of course, is for him to stay leukemia and cancer free and um, just grow up and be everything that, you know, um, he was born to be. Grant is the best big brother ever. If Wyatt is crying, he wants to know why he's crying and he wants to get him his pacifier and make him better. You know, we weren't sure if, if it was gonna take a while for him to wanna be interested in a little kid at all, but um, he is all about his little brother. And I think it's, it's funny um, because he doesn't obviously understand um, <laughs> what, a, what an impact his brother has had on his life. <laughs>